Hello everyone and um, welcome to this video about Power BI goals. In this video I'm going to show you uh, what is Power BI goals and in the following videos uh, in next week we go to more detail about how we can use it and more deep about different feature of it. So uh, Power BI goals is actually uh, the needs it's when uh, you know that in our companies we want to uh, measure business metrics and we want to actually have a KPI to track the changes uh, and this is the thing that always we want to follow up so yes we can use the KPI and the other but uh, always you want to see on top of the dashboard so everyone when open their dashboards open their goals they can track the changes and become much more easily accessible not just uh, via the report but uh, uh, of course via the dashboards that we have and we can have a specific place for them to check them so that's the main aim of the power bi goals to check and track the uh, important kpi that we have and we make sure they are on track so it's become available on the uh, power bi page on a section named goals and you're able to check the trend of the different aspects. This can be sales, marketing, and other. There are some pre-built, uh, uh, actually, uh, um, goals has been created. In this video, I'm going to create a simple one to see that how it works. Okay, so uh, before going through that, there are many ways to create the goal. So uh, for this one, I first go through the simple one that is actually uh, we have a trend in 2018 for the sales and we want to check the trend with the previous year. And in another example that I'm going through that uh, is about checking the trend in 2008 based on the measure that we have that is our target so uh, uh, in this video i'm going for the first one so i uh, log into my power bi uh, uh, service and i'm going to the goals that is here and then i'm going to create a new scoreboard so uh, to create that one you need to create a scoreboard i call it as a sales uh, information and um, you can provide the sensitivity level of that uh, if you want so you can set it up you can provide a, a, a description for that here you can uh, because this will be created on top of some of my report so i need to select specific dashboard that i have and my report is located there i choose the my workspace so that's uh, where my I can find my reports. If it's not created, uh, if you don't have any workspace, that's there. You can create a workspace and then uh, kind of going through that. So I'm going to uh, get from my workspace. Uh, here I'm going to actually to uh, define the goal. So I'm going to uh, check the goal based on sales um, reseller sale. Reseller sales goals in uh, 2008, for example. And here, uh, so you can um, mention the people that you have in your organization. So you can type any of uh, name of the people that you have. So these are the people that there. So for now, I'm just check myself. Uh, so here you can also put the group of the people here uh, because for each goal we need a trend so we have a trend and we have a goal to reach so if we variant about and we kind of go beyond or less than uh, that target then we need to make sure and do something uh, to connect it i need to for the current one i click on connect to data this is the a report that I have I'm going to connect to this report so you see that the list of the report over here uh, you can access all of the report that you have in your workspace the one that share already with you or their favorite but here I'm using the report that I just created going to the next step 
And in this one, I'm going to the page reseller one. For the first practice, I'm going to track uh, actually what's happened in 2008. And I'm going to track uh, all data during that time and that time series on, for example, for all of the months that happening. And I'm going to check that one. In the next video, I'm going to show you that uh, beside the actually uh, the element in the visual what other item you can choose so here i'm going to choose the time axis here that is based on year and i'm going to check the data based on that so i connect that one in the next step i need to uh, identify the target again my target comes from the same data set and uh, reports and it's going i'm going to check the trend with 2000 seven so i'm checked the 2007 and i just want to because we have a whole value for that year i'm going to check for the actually uh, current value over there reseller one connect now you need to set up a specific role so here the place that we set up the role so each role will run separately so uh, you can have different roles and in each role you can have multiple uh, kind of conditions so i can have multiple roles as you can see here but each role run separately so for example this one is run separately and if it's okay then it's not going to run for the other one but if it's not acceptable here is going there that's why we able to move up and down that means that you can set which rule uh, uh, start first so i'm going to set up a rule based on the target that we have so if the value that we have that is a sales is uh, for example less than 20 percent of the target i can set it's behind uh, I can add other condition, but this is the only condition I have. So if it's satisfied this one, that means that the uh, target is less than 20%. It's not going to the next rule. It just triggered that one. Uh, for the next one, I'm going to again says that if it's uh, less than or equal 50% of the data, uh, I'm going to set it um, kind of at risk and i'm adding another rule that again um, i put it like here if it is less than or equal to 100 percent uh, that means that when it's come to this year that means it's not uh, 50 or 20 it's already more than 50. Uh, so we can say um, or maybe 80 we can say it is on track and the last rule that I'm adding over here that I'm saying that if it is um, less than or equal to 100% then we can see it's already completed. Just make sure you cover whole of the range over here. Uh, again, you can move up or remove any rules that you want. Uh, make sure you because that's a data that i have is old one so i'm just need to change that one to be uh, 2000 for example start from 2000 and here 2014 for example so if i save it uh, it should shows me uh, the data. So the data that I have for that year is uh, 60 million uh, divided by the target. So always you can choose. So uh, that bar may change to be some different years, but always is going to uh, kind of compare it with a previous year. So this is a format. And uh, so I think it's all good. Uh, I have my roll over here and if i back to the rules you can see that actually it's become uh, over here you can add it to the uh, favorite so anytime you want to check that one you can see that in the next video i'm going to more detail about the rules uh, about the goals and how 
we can set it up by different elements and other features that we have in goals. Thanks so much for watching this video.